Hello and welcome back to another week in new genre books. My name is Amelia and at Locus Magazine we look at all the top new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books being published and you like books, so let's talk about what's coming out the week of September 12th, 2023. First up in science fiction we have five new titles being published this week. From Benjamin Percy we have The Sky Vault, out from Morrow in hardcover, trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a post-apocalyptic SF novel, the third and final book in the Comet Cycle series. The comet came from beyond our solar system, now in the isolated region of Fairbanks, Alaska. An interstellar dust cloud seeds the atmosphere. A plane vanishes in this atmospheric soup, but only for a minute. When the flight lands, everyone on board and in the community will be changed forever. From Kate Dillon, we have Mindbreaker, out from Hoderscape in ebook and audio. This is a young adult dystopian SF thriller novel. Born into a religious cult on the fringe of society, Indra Dyer lives a simple, tech-free existence. Insert your own joke here about the 80s or the 90s or whatever a tech-free existence would look like to you. But when an illicit trip to the city leaves her with a terminal condition, Indra must make a choice, die faithful, or betray her order and accept the cure Glindell Technologies is offering. From debut novelist M. X. Liu, we have The Death I Gave Him, out from Solaris UK in hardcover ebook and audio. This is an SF novel, a queer retelling of Hamlet as a high-tech thriller. Elsinore Labs AI Horatio discovers a researcher is dead, leaving a neuromapped model of his brain that says he was murdered. From Stephanie Oakes, we have The Meadows, out from Dial in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a dystopian, queer, young adult SF novel. Eleanor is thrilled to be accepted to the prestigious Meadows School, but even after graduation, the school enforces relentless conformity, and Eleanor's one of the enforcers. From Michael Solis, we have Deficient, out from BHC Press in hardcover, trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a young adult SF novel. The near future is free from discrimination based on race class, and sexual orientation. But in a world populated by the gifted, 15-year-old Alejandro Aragon is part of the only remaining minority. He's a deficient. Powerless, these are the people that accelerated genetics left behind. Next up horror, we have five new books this week. From Kelly Armstrong, we have Hemlock Island, out from St. Martin's in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a horror novel. Lainey Kilpatrick rents out her vacation home on Hemlock Island to stay afloat, but the renters start fleeing from recent events. Broken belongings and campfires that nearly burned down the house have escalated to bloody bones, hex circles, and now blood and nail marks all over the guest room closet as though someone tried to claw their way out. Lainey and her niece go to investigate, then their only means off the island goes missing. From Clay McLeod Chapman, we have What Kind of Mother, out from Quirk Books in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a southern gothic horror novel about a palm reader caught up in a missing child case. After striking out on her own as a teen mom, Maddie Price is forced to return to her hometown of Brandywine, Virginia, with her 17-year-old daughter. With nothing to her name, she scrapes together a living as a palm reader at the local farmer's market. There, she connects with her old high school flame, now a reclusive local fisherman whose infant son went missing five years ago. Everyone in town is sure the boy is dead, but when Maddie reads Henry's palm, she starts to think that's not true. From Sarah Hollowell, we have What Stalks Among Us, out from Clarion in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a YA speculative thriller. Best friends and high school seniors Sadie and Logan ditch their end-of-year field trip to the amusement park in favor of exploring some old, forgotten back roads where they find a giant, abandoned corn maze. Inside the maze, corpses identical to them in every way other than the stab and gunshot wounds. They quickly realize they've not only entered this maze before, they've died in it. From Lisa M. Matlin, we have The Stranger Upstairs, out from Bantam in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a haunted house horror novel. A therapist and self-help writer with all the answers. Sarah Slade has just bought a gorgeous Victorian in the community of her dreams. Turns out you can get a killer deal, yes, a killer deal, on a house where someone was murdered. Plus, renovating Blackwood's house makes for great blog content and a decent distraction from her failing marriage. But the renovations are becoming a nightmare. A series of bizarre accidents, threatening notes, and unexplained footsteps in the attic 
only confirms for Sarah what the rest of the town already knew. Something is very wrong in that house. From Laura Cat Young, we have The Collector out from Titan Books in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a dystopian horror novel. Lieutenant Dev Singh spends his days recording the memories of people who, struck with incurable depression, will soon have their minds erased in order to be more productive members of society. At night, though, hidden in the dark, Dev remembers and writes in his secret journal the special moments shared with him, the small laugh of a toddler, the stillness of a late afternoon, the first flutter of love, until the Bureau finds out he's been recounting the memories and that the depression is in him too. Next up fantasy, we have nine titles. From Nevo, we have Mammoths at the Gate, out from Tor.com in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novella, fourth in the Singing Hills Cycle series. The wandering cleric Chi returns home to the Singing Hills Abbey. Their mentor, Cleric Tien, has died and rests among the archivists and storytellers of the storied abbey. Cleric Tien's granddaughters have arrived on the backs of royal mammoths, demanding their grandfather's body for burial. Chi must somehow balance honoring their mentor's chosen life while keeping the sisters from the north from storming the gates. From Jennifer L. Armentrout, we have Fall of Ruin and Wrath out from Bramble in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy romance novel, the first in a series for adults. Nine cities dot a vast wilderness teeming with monsters and unimaginable dangers, each city ruled by royalty who feed on mortal pleasure. Callista lives hidden as a courtesan of the Baron of Archwood. In exchange for protection, she uses her intuition to inform him until her intuition leads her to save a traveling prince that she knows will one day bring her doom. From Dan Frey, we have Dreambound out from Del Rey in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a contemporary fantasy novel. A reporter unearths mystical secrets of LA as he searches for his 12-year-old daughter who left a note saying she was going to the hidden world from her favorite books. And she's not the first child to go missing that way. From Catherine Briggs, we have Eternity Gate out from Enclave Escape in hardcover and ebook. This is a young adult fantasy novel, first in the Threshold duology. The Eternity Gate has been found, and kings and monsters battle, hoping to claim its legendary treasure. Seo, handmaiden to the princess, translated a prophecy warning that the gate offers judgment, not treasure. From KJ Del Antonia, we have Playing the Witch Card out from Putnam in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel. Flair Hardwick gave up magic and love to take over her grandmother's ordinary Kansas bakery. Then she bakes some Halloween cookies, which accidentally release magic that draws her mother and her first love to town while cursing her ex. From Snorri Christensen, we have The Hidden Legion out from Solaris UK in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel, the first in the trilogy, The Blood at Dawn. Roman soldier Aemilius thought he would die heroically in battle like his forefathers, mourned by a loving wife and many children, but he's barely a man when a harpy flies down out of the old myths and knocks him from his horse. Stunned and helpless, he waits for his end and is saved. Formed on the bloody battlefield of Teutoburg, the Hidden Legion are an order of soldiers, magicians, and rogues so secret that the Empire itself would hunt them down if they were exposed. And now, Amelius is one of them. From Shade Lapite, we have Goddess Crown, out from Walker US in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel, the first in a series set in the Kingdom of Gala. Colothian has grown up hidden away in the forested east after her parents were outed as enemies of the king. When assassins attack her home on her 16th birthday, she must flee to the king's court in the west, a beautiful but lethal nest of poison, plots, and danger overseen by entrenched patriarchy. Guided by the goddess herself, Colothia navigates this most worldly of places to find her own role. From Stacey McEwen, we have Chasm out from Angry Robot UK in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel, the second book in the Glacian trilogy begun in Ledge. Now on the run and struggling to tame her newly gained and greatly unstable powers, Dawson continues to fight to save the people of the Ledge from the winged Glacians who treat them like animals. From Andrew Rowe, we have Edge of the Woods out from Podium Publishing in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel, the first in a series set in the Arcane Ascension universe. 
Lian bears only half a name, an ancient word meaning blade or edge, and has no knowledge of his heritage. As he grows, so does his need for independence. That wraps up this week. You can see the full listing on locusmag.com in our new books post. We appreciate you for spending your time with us here. We appreciate all of the writers and people that spend their precious lives making these books, and we love books so very much. It's a bit of a problem, to be honest. Locust Magazine and the Locust YouTube channel are a labor of love. We are at Locust Mag or at Locust Magazine on most platforms. You can read more about the science fiction, fantasy, and horror field over at www.locusmag.com or support us on our Patreon. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.